right see here just set one uh, in our in our uh, this one in our palm this would be our last point for today okay maybe we can <coughs> can end it so in our palm okay for any query okay first of all for any query okay first the priority value should not be none but it should be low okay whenever you launch a new form it should be low and then user can select medium or high when they are submitting it but primarily it should be low okay this is the first requirement is that clear ma sir yes okay second thing is the agent okay for any query first time okay it should automatically load agent as abraham lincoln so my requirement whenever i create a, whenever i launch a new form okay priority should be low and agent should be abraham lincoln and maybe if i want to make it priority high i can change it and maybe i want to assign this ticket to some other maybe i can also select it but primarily first time value should be like this this is my requirement is that requirement clear ma yes sir yes sir everyone clear right so how we can do it is okay uh, this is one requirement that is another requirement na huh? so take two fields okay one <coughs> priority go to dictionary because i need to configure it in dictionary okay and second one is this one so go to this field this is also a dictionary two things we are doing don't confuse okay so see here we have something called default value here also you have something called default value okay so for this one why i am showing to because there is an intention how you set default values for different different fields okay i am taking two different types of fields here okay so first for a choice okay now go back here maybe something like uh, a created one okay i want to read the value na so simple way is this one so priority so what value we want to set we want to set as low right priority low is there any any ticket with priority low yeah you can take this one right so open the first record you can read the variables in multiple ways ma okay so i open one record <coughs> and this one has already a priority low go to show xml okay so xml means the same record whatever the values it will show in a xml format so here what low priority low low is 1 value 1 the back end value for low choice is 1 you remember when we were created it we given value 1 you want to show me no it is not 1 ma it is l sorry it is l okay this one is l and if it is medium if it is m okay and if it is high it is h i given first letters intentionally yeah it is not one it is l you agree you remember when we created a choice yeah, yeah. yes sir yeah so, so i am taking copy paste ma i don't want to take risk so copy okay the back end value and i am passing to dictionary as a default value okay so save it this is first thing first requirement okay did you all got it how i took the value and how why i set this value here yes sir everyone yes sir yeah yes sir right now second one second one is a what type of field reference okay reference means when you are selecting a value okay it is referencing something means it it will be identified by what sys id sys id right so we need to go to the table whatever the value you want to pass it okay you need to pass the respect to sys id of the record so how i can get it i can go to that table okay our requirement is for abraham lincoln okay so open this or right click and copy sys id either one is fine but ab ab always try to get it from here sometimes uh when you are doing in list na you get 
you you don't get right values okay i will tell you why also copy sys id okay and pasting here okay now save it now testing right so launching the new form okay and default values priority default value is l l is for low choice okay and agent default value set for abraham lincoln sys id okay and now one more we do that is for choice where is that okay here okay so for this one i can set simple some text okay so uh, right see every time you launch the page okay i'm launching again the page from scratch okay the default values that you set in the dictionary level they are coming automatically this is the default value for choice type this is the default value for reference type this is id and this is the default value for a string that is what that's simple text right now my everyone is that uh, clear Yes, sir. Everyone, any questions? My any confusions? No. no. Okay. No, no, not. Okay, so these are uh, there are few like there are many more. Okay, in dictionary level there are many, but we see in display, we see in uh, default value, and also we see in dependent value. Okay, those three just practice it, and when you are practicing, also see all the options. Try multiple things. First, to try basics, and then. try multiple maybe if it is a list how i can set default value okay list is single or multiple so if i select see here okay one more interview question uh, oh, one uh, even i don't know okay we are all learning now okay now see i want to set okay how i how we can learn the unknown things unknown concepts okay so see here here uh we have a form we have a record okay and now i feel like additional formers okay it's a list collector list field right i want these two formers okay and these are the two far common formers for every record it should come maybe if i don't like they will i will remove so that means we are setting default value for a field okay and unfortunately the field type is A list field. Okay, ma. This requirement is clear. Yes. Yes, sir. Ah. Now, how I need to pass the default value for the, a list? So now I want to pass the default value for a list field. So I go here. Okay, and say configure dictionary. It takes me to dictionary, and then default value is there. And now I want to see this result every time. What is the result? This result. So how I can get this value to pass here? Can copy the sys id and separate it by comma. Sys id is separated by comma. Okay, that is one way. So I can go to user table, get these two users, okay, separately, and pass by sys id is separated by comma. That is the uh, right answer. And uh, I need to go to a different uh, user table and then get them and then write. Okay. Is there any simple other way? that is the right answer 100% right yes is there any other way maybe you can try i've opened a clue okay so see here you already yes ma'am please yeah. using filter no which filter ma'am <laughs> okay simple way is you are here. by using groups sir no by grouping no 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 see here you are in a record you already have these two values already right so go here show xml maybe the person who answered it he know what how the list will, yes, list sir. will store and others also will know because we covered it but in order to get easily na this is you already have the value get the value the list is storing the values like this 
separated by comma and these are the two exact values that are also needed for our requirement copy them and paste here save it okay all the ways are similar ma right only okay it's not wrong or right but see here now i we added default value and the two values are automatically added to list if you have one more the same you can add one more if you want to uh, reduce one maybe you can reduce one okay now you removed one from the list save it and then just refresh it see one right like this practice everything okay, how you will pass some value here some how you pass some value here so when you practice it you will see the back end values that is very very important okay so setting a list collector list default value also we seen it now okay ma so i'm ending here Don't...